to Northeast Wrestling Interactive, and I'm Wrecking Ball Lugerski. Join me tonight as we relive some of my biggest highlights and matches on my path of destruction. I'm going to be interacting all night on the YouTube channel, so join me, sit back, relax, and watch me smash, smash, smash. Let's take it back to 2017 when I was under the leadership of Marshall McNeil. During the course of the year on my path of destruction, I took on the biggest, I took on the baddest, and I took on the strongest that Northeast Wrestling had to offer. At WrestleFest, I defeated Dijak. At March Madness, I brawled it out with Ryback. A couple months later at Wrestling Under the Stars, Dijak wanted a little bit more. Let's find out who the better man was. King Kong versus Godzilla. And the wrecking ball strikes, but Dijak, a different kind of big man. Out of the way, the grace of an athlete much smaller. A gymnast almost is Dijak. And he's going to use that quickness. He's got to use that agility. And now it's going to be a tough road for Dijak. Pounding away. The wrecking ball methodical. Imagine how painful it is using his quickness, but Ligurski plants him. No! Ligurski with a great power counter move. Out muscling Dijak. Both men, same idea. A battle of might. Dijak fighting free and leaves himself open from the south side, but here comes Dijak. Dijak gonna take a run at it. Oh no. Dijak's worst nightmare, maybe not. Wow! Dijak, he's gonna take a chance. Standing moonsault, didn't get enough of it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dijak puts himself in a harm's way, but fights his way right, right back into this. Wrecking ball up again, and Dijak can't believe it. Oh, no. Diving car wreck. After making destructive waves in Northeast Wrestling, a man who claimed he was limitless, Keith Lee, wanted a piece of the wrecking ball. And I had to step up, and I had to show him why I was the most single dominant Force in Northeast Wrestling. Side headlock now, those gigantic arms of Keith Lee as he runs into a a brick wall challenging Lee to give it another try. Lee unable to move the monster. Full head of steam here. Wait. The go behind back to the head. 
takes quite an arm to get around that head. But Keith Lee's got the arm. He's got the bicep. He's got the power. And holding on, a feat unto itself. Maybe a top wrist lock escape from Gursky. Trying to get out of this. Shot to the midsection. Looking to break down the verticality of the Limitless One. Set for the ride. And another go behind. Lee sending Ligurski. Are you kidding me? Up and over. A runaway freight train. Hitting Keith Lee head on. And Ligurski wants to reciprocate. and testing each other. And Ligurski, enough time to recover. Lee, trying to fight from his knees, fight to his feet. And Ligurski shutting it down quickly. Ball. Physically challenged like he's never been before here tonight. And all that weight, super heavy weight crunch into the corner. Left hands connecting from above. Oh, and he runs. Oh, he couldn't do it. Lee trying again, stubbornly almost. The pride flowing through the mind, the body of Keith Lee, and he gets caught. Oh! -ho! And connecting with all, with everything he had, the wrecking ball regaining control. He's gonna go for a double. He scores. I'm not sure how Keith Lee is even still on his feet. Up and down, car wreck. Just another man who wanted a piece of the wrecking ball and couldn't get the job done. Let's fast forward to 2018 where I made some bad decisions to align myself with Jared Silverclay. Although my time with Jared wasn't my proudest time, it did lead me to go against Flip Gordon and it led me to get to the top of the mountain and become the Northeast Wrestling Champion.
game going on. Flip has to avoid direct contact, getting in close to the big man. But he's caught already, and Lagers can right back. Of course, double tough, the most physically dominating man in all of Northeast wrestling. But do you see what I mean? Flip took a few steps toward Jarrett, and now look what happened. He's got to focus on the match at hand and worry about Jarrett after the match. That relationship between Ligurski and Silverclight, certainly it took a downward spiral after Silverclight's miscue cost Ligurski the championship last month. You know what's worse than one chop? Two chops at the same time, and that's what the big man is doing. Pain etched in the face of the Northeast wrestling champion, Flip Gordon. Certainly never afraid of a bigger opponent. Never afraid of odds stacked against him. But are the odds too great here? Back to his feet, Gordon. He's got to think outside the box. Quite frankly, his entire young career thus far has been based on that. Yeah, but it's very early on, and he is not looking good. Into the corner. A super heavyweight crushing splash. You feel that, have to believe, from head to toe if you're Flip Gordon. If this keeps up, bro, this match is not going to the double-digit mark, I'll tell you that. And Jared is definitely staying safe tonight. Flip Gordon stunning the challenger. And got caught. Oh, <laughs> Flip wanted that ace crusher from the sky, but this time it was Ligurski who was well prepared. This referee is earning his paycheck tonight. <laughs> Gordon after Silver Clay, he got caught by the wrecking ball. The referee finally in. No, 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 not like this. Flip got his shoulder up. Gordon. Flip is a fish. Barely breathing, barely alive in this one. And this could be the beginning of the end. Car wreck, center ring. And Flip survives. <laughs> are, you, are you freaking kidding me? Wrecking balls down again. And Silver Clay back on the apron. No, no, no. Silver Clay. Able to trip up the champion. The referee not seeing it directly. He's going to allow the match to continue. Oh, no. If the ref didn't see it, it didn't happen, Jerry. And we got ourselves a new Northeast Wrestling Champion. Although in 2018, I had Northeast Wrestling's top prize, the heavyweight title, when I was associated with Jared's trust Hall. Things became more clear as the year went on. Jared was selfish. Jared cost me matches. And when I sent that little weasel packing, I couldn't handle the rejection. So let's fast forward to Lucha Mania 2 as I take on Josh Briggs. During that match, Jared tries to stick his nose into my business. He sends his trust fund goofballs and goons to try to attack me. Well, guess what? I had a trick up my sleeve. Ooh. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness. That's Bully Ray. That's Bully Ray, Dudley. That's Bully Ray. What is That's why you can never happening? miss a show. What is going on, Northeast Wrestling? That's, That's Bully Ray. He just tosses. Bully Ray. Getting the trust fund completely out of the ring. Bully Ray is close. Big close line by Bully Ray. They want the tables. Get the tables. They got one. It's already in the ring. <laughs> when do people know that Bully Ray has actually been training the wrecking ball? And right now it looks like they're going to put Josh Briggs through this table. Bully Ray and the wrecking ball. Put Briggs through the table. Are you kidding me? Let's fast forward to WrestleFest 23 as I tag with my trainer, Bully Ray, and we finally get rid of those goofballs from the trust fund once and for all. 
Out goes Zombie, out goes Thrill Ride. They've got Silver Clay right where they want him. Your checkbook won't get you out of this one. After everything he said, after everything he's done, like a baby on a changing pad, I hope he's wearing a diaper. Oh, my! In the summer of 2019, I showed everyone that I could do it on my own. I didn't need Marshall McNeil. I didn't need Jared's trust fund. And at a sold out Mid Hudson Civic Center, we have the man of steel, Mike Berna, versus the wrecking ball, McGurski. And we pulled out all the stops to try to tear each other. Wrecking Ball climbed to the top of the mountain last year, but it was so short-lived, it was only for a month, and that is when he decided to go on that journey to lean out, lose all of that weight, become more athletic, because he was so frustrated, because he felt what it was like to be the champion here at NEW and have it taken away, and he doesn't want that to happen again, should he get to the top of the mountain. And even Verna forced to take a few steps back after an initial collision with the wrecking ball. Certainly a situation that Verna not too familiar with. And for Mike Verna, he has not been to the top of the mountain, so he sees someone like wrecking ball who has been there, and he knows to continue his climb here at NEW to get a win over Wrecking Ball Ligurski would have to put him in a title picture. Up and over that surprising athleticism of Verna back in the forefront. He's gonna take a chance early here. This will drop kick connects. Not used to seeing him go to the top rope for that drop kick, but he sees the size of Wrecking Ball and knows he has to take risks. Wrecking Ball. Walking away, but maybe not safe just yet. What's up, man? And I did not know that Verna had this risk taking in his body, but he's showing the lengths he's willing to go to get a win on such a huge event. He's doing exactly perhaps what he feels he needs to do change up the game plan, take it to Wrecking Ball in a different way, and Ligurski got caught. And he's stuck there in that rope. He needs to try to wiggle his way out somehow because Vern is picking him apart, but there you go. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> that telephone pole-like arm almost taking the head off of the Man of Steel. Oh, my goodness. Where what? is he going? Oh, oh my God. I, I talked about his athleticism, but there you go. Even I'm shocked by that. It's like when the house landed on that Witch and the Wizard of Oz, there is nowhere for Verna to go. Ligurski taking plenty of time here and making the most of it. Rolling through. Another head-on collision. Verna's a... Oh, my. There's the great equalizer, the right hand neutralizing Ligurski temporarily. Using his striking ability and check out the power. He almost had him. Ligurski firing back, couldn't get the sidewalk slam. Just swallows Verna alive. Where do we go from, oh my, another shot. Verna testing the jaw of Ligurski with his hands and his feet. Yeah, that step up in Zagiri was just what he needed to kind of catch a breather here because Ligurski's been pretty relentless. 
And caught again. Oh, just dumped like yesterday's trash. The big splash connects. One, two, two, oh. two. Verna trying to be clever there, trying to use that athleticism, but he paid for it that time. Ligurski all over him once again. Gee, what will his next move be? Maybe something high impact from an elevated position. Yeah, he's going way up there. To hit something from this height, but no Verna slipping out. My goodness. How many times have you seen someone lift and throw a wrecking ball Ligurski like that? Yeah, maybe not twice, though. Ligurski with some sort of adrenaline burst, continuing to go at Verna. Verna playing cat and mouse here, and oh my, wow! Could not maintain control, but Ligurski was trying to get some breathing room here. And he's gonna need it. Up, up! Almost an up, up and away moment for Ligurski, but Verna, the man of steel living up to his name. He got all of it. Death Valley driver connects. Oh, the two most powerful forces in NEW unleashing their full battery of artillery at one another. Mike Verna may have things well in hand. And maybe not. Oh. the victory, a statement made here tonight by Wrecking Ball Ligurski. Wow, what a collision that was, Paul. He came up short back at Destiny in the three-way contest to determine the number one contender for the NEW title. But getting a win like this over someone like Mike Verna, he is definitely still in the hunt. The following night, I beat the man beast Rhino in a matter of no time. Going to look for that gore. No, Ligurski out of the way. Boss man slam. Ligurski with a massive win over Rhino. I show time and time and time again why I belong at the top of Northeast Wrestling. Time and time again, I show why I'm the biggest. I show why I'm the baddest. The entire landscape Things have changed all in one night in the form of Dan Moff. How fired up are you that Dan Moff has finally arrived in NEW? He has gone through a transformation, not only dropping a lot of weight, becoming more athletic, but you can see it. His attitude has changed as well. Going to fight on. And look at that, just taking. The ringside stairs, this is getting crazy, and kudos to our referee for letting this one go, having a little leeway. We need to see a winner here. Listen, I talked to I talked to the referee in the back, and I said, if you don't let these two fight, you and me are gonna fight. This is getting absolutely wild on the floor here in our opening round. Oh. Hitting these chops, and I think Moff, I think he's excited. I love Dan Moff more than I love any human being in the world. Ligurski winds up, hits him with his best shot, I think, on the scorecard so far. You gotta give the advantage to Moff. Look at Wrecking Ball's chest. Wrecking Ball's chest is beat red, and he keeps bringing it. This is something that we've never seen before. We've never seen someone just taking a Wrecking Ball like this and get absolutely everything they want. Moff going a little low there. Now a knee to the face. And as wild and as crazy as Moff gets, you know he is highly intelligent. His wrestling IQ off the charts. So he lured Wrecking Ball in there to get him with the knee. Now this is the kind of match that you want when you have two big men. This is exactly what you want to see. But it's a steel cable as you. Oh, but that's a steel chair. That's a steel chair. Hit him with that chair. 
letting this one go is our referee. And back and forth, he's ringing the bell, he's calling for it. This one thrown out, Moff and Ligurski. Their emotions getting the better of them as they continue to brawl on the outside. This is one of the wildest things I've seen in any. We need more officials out here. But these two killing each other out here. And that side of the bracket, you have Keith Youngblood. So the Keith, the Keith Youngblood is going to advance to the finals? Wrecking Ball, Ligurski going for the table. Wrecking Ball going to try to put a very violent end to this fight. Hitting the chops. Oh, again, again to the, the throat. throat. Every time. Off to the second row. Oh, no. Caught him. Tried the choke slam. Went to that knee. Oh. Wrecking ball has him up. Break the eyes. Smart Break move. the eyes, Brad. Oh! Right through that table. But Mop, I he's trying to permanently injure. We gotta we gotta get somebody to help out here. Listen, I've never been happy to be injured. I've never been happy to be hurt. But right now I'm happy I'm injured because oh. I don't have to get in there with Dan. Trying to get some help out here. Oh Trayvon, no, Trey, why don't you stay in the back? I know you're paid here to help, but Buddy Costa. Oh no. Oh, Jesus! Oh! Half and half! Buddy Costa's neck might be snapped. Dexter Lou can stop him. I was going to say, no one's tough enough, but here comes Dexter Lou. Oh, he went in. He got caught. Oh, this is not where Dexter wants to be. Oh! Dexter Lou couldn't connect on that hand, and he paid for it. No, 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 oh, no, no. Oh, my God. No, oh, no, my God. no. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Burning hammer from Dan Moff on Sumo. The following contest, set for one ball, will have no count out, no disqualifications. There must be a winner. So after having some time, to recover. Wrecking Ball, Ball Ligurski now looking to do tonight what he was unable to do last month. At NEW Live last month, it was the opening round of the NEW Live tournament, but since it went to a no contest, we are going to see a three-way contest. Oh! Never mind that, Dan Moff, like a rocket, charging hard and taking Wrecking Ball Ligurski down. This one off in a hurry, and it could be quick work by Dan Moff, because man, he hit Wrecking Ball hard. But Ligurski fighting his way back into this contest. Oh! I stand corrected. Dan Moff hit him hard. Ligurski with a shot of his own. And now these two bears are going to just maul each other. Hits the headbutt on Dan Moff as the NEW faithful asking for one more shot. And Ma, is he leaving? Well, Ligurski pulls him back in. And another one. Neither competitor able to get an advantage in this one. And 
that may be the tail we see here between these two animals. But Ligurski refusing to go down. Locks it. Not feeling those shots. Sending Moff in the corner. And now a flurry of his own. Dan Moff says no. Oh my. Dan Moff is putting on a clinic of brutality as Ligurski doing his best, but you can tell he's been feeling the effects of those shots. Running avalanche splash in that corner as Ligurski sending Moff onto the apron. Gonna go for those big clubbing shots. Going for number 10. But if you look at the face of Moff, you can tell that offense from Ligurski has affected him a little bit as he goes under that ring, he finds a chair. And look at that. Ligurski finds one of his own. As if this wasn't wild enough. Uh, th three chairs, okay. It's starting to look like the ECW arena in here with Terry Funk and Cactus Jack. This is just exhausting to watch, let alone compete in. As Ligurski with the table. He goes to the top of the ramp. Bob doesn't know where he is. Runs right in to the shoulder block. Now where's he go? Oh. Getting yet another table over here. As Dan Moff is on the apron now, what does he have in mind? Whatever he has in mind for either man, I don't think this can end well. Both men doing whatever they can trying to hurt the other man, but I have to think survival is on their mind because that was a very, very dangerous position. Seemingly out of harm's way now, at least in regards to that table, but Dan Moff is enjoying the right hands he is giving to Wrecking Ball, but caught right around the throat. He is firing up. Oh no, trying a suplex to the floor. Unable to get it, foot gets stomped. Elbow to the temple. As Moff. And Ligurski killing each other with shots here. 
another one. Back and forth they go. And a headbutt from Ligurski. Oh, headbutt from Moff. Oh, he kicked him low. He kicked him low. And in a no disqualification setting, there's nothing anyone can do about it. Oh boy, oh no, oh no. Sends him straight through that table. Putting him back in the ring. And I have to think it's academic after that. No! Ligurski somehow getting his shoulder up. I'm not quite sure how, but that is unbelievable. Mop up to the second rope. Ligurski stumbling in the ring. Oh, he caught him! Oh, wow! Slams him down! No! Off up top, oh no, oh, 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 oh! Ligurski grabs him low! Moff trying to get out of this painful situation. Slams Moff down on that chair. Desperation time for Wrecking Ball. Picks him up. A big slam on the chairs. No! Somehow Moff, shoulder up at two. But now Ligurski picking up that table, perhaps trying to put the finishing touches on this very personal fight between these two men. Can he do it? Can the wrecking ball pull it off? Oh, oh, he raked the eyes. Mop raked the eyes. Goes up to the second rope. He got caught. No. Oh, kicks the back of the knee out. Kicks him in the side of the head. Call for the Rainmaker. Oh, ducks it. Wrecking ball. Puts Moff through that table with the spear. No. You have got to be kidding me! Although, things didn't turn out the way I wanted. Dan Mop, you better believe! I pushed you. Dan Mop, you better believe! I brought the fights! I know you had to deal with Keith Youngblood, but when that's over, I'm bringing the fight! Dan Mop! I'm bringing it straight to your face! I want to see every single one of you there live. And until then, thank you for tuning in.